Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. Today's video is another what I eat in a day on a candida diet, so please continue watching if you'd like to see what I made. So first things first, every morning I have a glass of lukewarm lemon water just to kickstart my digestion. I'll be eating a salad for breakfast, so as usual I have my chopped up onions, green beans, and a little bit of parsley. I'm just gonna go ahead and crack an egg in a frying pan and scramble it. And then what I like to do for my veggies is I like to just steam fry it, so leaving it for only under just under five minutes. In the separate bowl, I'm going to prepare my romaine lettuce. I'm gonna go ahead and add now quinoa to my stir fry veggies. And I decided to add quinoa just to give it a little bit more uh, protein and a little, so it can keep me full longer. All right, next I decided to make a butternut squash soup. So first things first, I'm cutting the squash in half and taking out the seeds. Next, I'm just going to lightly drizzle olive oil, salt and pepper and massage it into the squash. Then I'm gonna place both halves of the squash onto a baking sheet where I'll have it baking for about 30 minutes under 350 degrees. I also decided I wanted to add roasted garlic so I'm just taking about three to four cloves of garlic, wrapping it in aluminum foil and placing it on the baking sheet. So after the time has passed, I did roast mine for a little too long but that's okay. I'm just peeling off the, the garlic to make sure it's roasted, which it is. Next, I decided to add some green onion. All right, so now I'm just spooning out the squash and I'm adding it to my Vitamix, which is what I'll be using to make the soup. So I'm taking the green onion that I sauteed, some salt, and some pepper and I'm using fresh shavings of ginger not too much next I'm adding in some parsley and about a cup of water and then I'm just going to place it on the soup mixture on my Vitamix Now for dinner, I've decided to make collard green wraps, so I'm going to use quinoa and chicken breast. First things first, I'm going to take my marinated chicken breast and fry it in a frying pan for just about 5-10 to 10 minutes. Now I'm going to make at least a cup of quinoa. And now I am, I love to multitask when I cook, so I do multiple things at once. So now I'm getting about five to seven leaves of collard green and I am slicing the stem down the middle. And then I'm gonna go back and check on my quinoa, make sure it is cooked, which it is. It's nice and fluffy. Now, what I do is I like to wilt the collard greens ever so slightly, so I'm going to saute it for just under two minutes. Once my chicken breast is done, I'm chopping it up into little, little bits. And I decided I wanted to use uh, avocado mash to spread on the leaves, so I'm going ahead and doing that now. And 
I love sauteing veggies if you haven't noticed so I am taking these are going to be what I put into the collard green so I'm taking the quinoa the peppers the parsley and the chicken and warming it up in the frying pan and then once my collard green is sauteed taking it out cutting it off making sure there's two halves part is kind of challenging I didn't really know how I wanted to roll it but as long as you have all of the food all of the filling inside properly that's all that matters and I had about five of these rolls and they were honestly really filling especially with the quinoa and chicken inside that's it guys thanks for watching